online learners, greetings of peace and happiness. Welcome to our first online full learning episode with me. My name is Teacher Malu, your online jolly teacher in English. And together, let us discover and explore the jolly world of English. Only here on Online Learning with Malu. Before we begin, prepare your pen, your paper, and self-learning module. I guess you are now ready, so let's begin. In today's episode, you are going to learn on how to note down relevant information from text heard. And after this lesson, you should be able to note down relevant information from text This time, I will be reading to you a story, online learners. Are you excited to hear it? Good job! Good job! Good job! The title of the story that I'm going to read is How the Wicked Sons Were Duped Written by Joseph Jacobs I am looking forward that you can answer these questions What is meant by duped? Who duped? The wicked sons. How were they duped? Listen and find. Don't forget to take the important information found in the story. A very wealthy old man imagining that he was on the point of death. Sent for his sons and divided his property among them. However, he did not die for several years afterwards. And miserable years, many of them were. Besides the with Malu. age, the old fellow had to bear with much abuse and cruelty from his sons. Wretched, selfish ingrates. Previously, they vied with one another in trying to please their father, hoping thus to receive their patrimony. They cared not how soon he left them name. The sooner the better, because he was only a needless trouble and expense. And they let the poor old man know what they felt. And why do you think the three sons were described as wicked. How did the sons treat their father? And who would help the poor old man? Let's find out. One day, he met a friend and related to him all his troubles. The friend sympathized very much with him and promised to think over the matter and call in a little while and tell what to do. He did so. In a few days, he visited the old man and put down four bags full of stones and gravel before him. Who helped the poor old man? What did he bring? To the old man and what will they do with the four bags let's proceed look here friend said he your sons will get to know my coming here today and will inquire about it you must pretend that i came to discharge a long-standing debt with you and that you are several thousands of rupees richer than you thought you were. Keep 
take these bags in your own hands and on no account let your sons get to them as long as you are alive. You will soon find them change their conduct toward you. Shalom, I will come again soon to see how you are getting on. When the young men got to hear of his father increase of wealth, they began to be more attentive and pleasing to their father than even before. And thus, they continued to the day of the old man's demise. When the bags were greedily opened and found to contain only stones and gravel, did the sons change their conduct toward their father? What did they hope for? How do you think the sons feel when they opened the bags? What lesson does the selection teach you? You're right! Always remember to Yes! Respect our parents! Good job! Okay, so let's have a short quiz. Look back at the story and complete the story map below based on the information found in the story. Who is the author of the story? And what is the title of the story? Where is the setting? Who are the characters of the story? Let us answer. Who is the author of the story? Yes, it's Joseph Jacobs. And what is the title? How the Wicked Sons Were Duped. And how about the setting? It's long time ago in India. And who are the characters? Yes, the three wicked sons, the old man, and a friend. What is the first event of the story? The old man divided his property among the sons. Good job. How about the second event? Yes, the sons left their father. Then the father became ill. Next. A friend came to help. Then the sons were toot. And what is the theme of the story? Good job showing kindness to parents. Online learners, holding down is useful to get the key information. It makes you to retain, remember, recite, and recall relevant information and the things to remember in noting down. First, don't write every single word you hear. Second, highlight only the key words. Number three, note down words or expressions that the speaker repeats more than twice. Number four, stick to short phrases and bullet points. Number five, have your own personal abbreviations for words to save time and effort on your part. Now, based upon the story you read, how the wicked sons were duped. Now, I am excited. You may now do the activity. Read each detail, put a check mark on the line if the detail is found in the story. Put a cross mark if it is not. Get your pen and paper. First question. The story took place somewhere in India a long time ago. Number two. A very wealthy old man had three wicked sons. Number three, all the three sons were kind and respectful to their father. Number four, a friend helped the old man one day. Number five, a friend brought him six bags 
full of stones and sand. The sons believed that their father became wealthy again. Number seven, the old man tricked his sons. Eight, a friend owed the old man thousands of rupees. Number nine, the sons changed their conduct toward their father at the end of the story. Number ten, the old man died of old age. Good job, online learners. You got all the answers correctly. Let's try another activity. Answer what is asked based on the relevant information from the story you heard. And circle the letter of the correct answer. Number one, how many sons did the old man have? A, four sons. B, three sons. C, two sons. Number two, why did the old man divide his property among his three sons? Letter A, because he was imagining that he was on the point of death. Letter B, because he wanted to work abroad. And letter C, because he felt pity on his sons. Number three, help the old man solve his trouble. A, the dearest cousin, B, his brother, and C, a friend. Number four, why did the old man trick his sons? Letter A, to change their conduct towards him. B, to make fun of them. C, to revenge them. Number five, what happened to the young men as they heard that their father's wealth increased? A. They robbed the wealth of their father. B. They didn't care their father's wealth. And letter C. They began to be more attentive and pleasing to their father than ever before. Noting down relevant information in a text heard will help us to be better recall and understand its message. We note relevant information when we take note specific part of a text. We will be reading another passage. So you're going to take note of the relevant information in it and answer the questions that follow. And circle the letter of the correct answer. The grade six pupils decided to make their room clean, orderly, and beautiful. Here are some of the rules everyone needs to follow. First, wipe your shoes on the doormat before entering the room. Put the waste papers Fruit peelings and candy wrappers in the waste basket. Keep the walls, desk, and tables free from pencil and shop marks and scratches. Put the cleaning material in a box. Arrange the furniture properly and put away your pencils, books, notebooks after using them. Hang umbrellas and rain coats in one corner of a room. Keep books clean and well covered. Question number one. What did the pupils decide to do? Letter A. Make the room clean, orderly, and beautiful. Letter B. Make the room clean, orderly, and beautiful. Letter C. Make their school surroundings clean, orderly and beautiful. Number two, what did they agree upon? Letter A, to form a society. B, to follow the rules. And letter C, to work on the school ground. Yes, letter B, to follow the rules. And number three, what will they do with their shoes? A. Wipe on the doormat. B. Live on the doormat. 
can see, put under the doormat. Number four, what will they keep? The furniture's free. A, books. B, cover. C, scratches. Where should the cleaning materials be kept? A, box. B, drawer. C, bookcase. Number six, how should the furniture be arranged? A, properly. B, artistically. And C, carelessly. Number seven, where should one keep his pencils, books, and notebooks after using? A, in his bag. B, on the desk. Letter C, on the teacher's table. Number eight. Where should the waste paper be thrown? A. In the desk. B. In the drawer. Letter C. In the waste basket. Number 9. Where should one hang raincoats and umbrellas? A. On the desk. B. In the cabinet. Letter C. On one corner of the room. Number 10. What should be kept clean and well covered? A. Desk. B. Books. C. Table. So great job, kids. Give yourself a thumbs up and with a jolly smile if you got the answers 10. Okay, online learners, you did great for the previous activities given to you. Thank you for watching and please click the subscribe button.